but everybody has that yearning to uh, to make a mark in some way. You walk into a place that's known to you, you smell a certain smell, and you feel a certain way, and you just kind of relax instantly, because it's home, <laughs> you know? And that's kind of where painting has been in my, my world, just uh, a relaxing kind of thing to do. You know, as a scientist, you want to search. It's the search. You want to find. And uh, so that's what my paintings are about. Kind of the search and the struggle to find and to understand. And the knowledge to know that even once you understand it, you don't really understand it because it's, it's, a, it's a mystery. My shoes were wearing out weird and uh, I tripped a lot and my roommates would get around oh you're such a klutz and I'd fall down and twist my ankle and uh, and I said well I am a klutz but I'm not this much of a klutz so those were some of the things that began to tip me off that something was wrong One particular week, I was teaching physiology lab, human physiology. And uh, the way we would teach the laboratory is that all the graduate students would meet on a Monday and we'd go through the material for that week. I was just the lucky one, I guess, that week. Uh, I was uh, asked to sit up on one of the tables while another graduate student tested my reflexes because we were doing a laboratory on. Uh, human reflexes. So he took his little uh, hammer and hit my knee and uh, my knee shot up and my boss looked at me and he said whoa you're gonna put a football on the moon you know your your reflexes are are really exaggerated they're really hyper and he said let me do that and he tried it and he, he shook his head again and and, uh, and I laughed and I said, what are you looking for things? No, 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 your reflexes are really quite exaggerated. And uh, I think you should go see a neurologist. And uh, it's human nature in some ways to not see it or to not want to see it. At that point, when the doctor said, Brett, it looks like MS. Now, we will wait and see, and see how this develops. Wink, nod. If you never get another attack, well, then we can't really say for sure. When I got my diagnosis, I felt a tremendous obligation now to go out and to tell my loved ones and my friends what I had just been given and to make them understand what it could potentially be you know going out to dinner with my parents and saying this is MS do you know anything about MS? do you know what it is? oh yeah we know do you really know? the problem with MS is that from day to day you really don't always know what your limitations are going to be and because of that fact I really do need sense of some type of caregiver to be available for me if I fall in the shower and I'm able to get up when you have something like MS you gotta let people help you or you're not gonna do anything and uh, that reality has you know come home for me in a m multiple different kinds of ways I don't think it takes a great deal of imagination for most people to think that uh, is good as uh, any set of parents may be that moving back with your parents in your 30s has got to be something that is, uh, is difficult to do. Once you accept it, if you ever do, <laughs> you can accomplish a lot. I'm going to be 
get involved with other people who had MS. I have never found a more optimistic and energetic group of people with MS. Um, you have people who are more disabled than me. Some people have limited hand motion and uh, a lot of them will, uh, some of them will have tremors, some of them can't move their hands. To struggle with a piece of work the way an artist struggles is to be as close to God, I think, as anyone can humanly be. Brett is the first person that I've actually shown you. It's really an emotional experience for me. And I hope that it is for you also. Um, my paintings are abstractions. I don't intend to paint representational images. My doctor said to me, you know, Brett, you probably know about as much about this disease as me. And I said, surely that's not true. <laughs> and he said, no, it probably is true. And unfortunately, it really was true because MS is a disease that they don't even know what the cause is. I know that a society is only as civilized as it protects its weakest member. And uh, as a person who feels like he's taken a, a big nosedive in terms of learning about humility and on his way to becoming one of those weaker members of society, whether it's right or wrong, to attribute life to something that is only one cell big, I struggle with that. But in my heart, I can see that a society that defends that would also defend a lot of the people I know who have no value to society. We've got to let some of our own identity go and we've got to work towards something that's bigger than ourselves.